Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, kind of hot Central California today. Um, you know, I was going to try to use my my fancy new lavalier mic I bought for this channel, and uh, apparently I'm not very good at researching. I bought a mic that's supposed to plug into the uh, compact USB port of my phone. It's not compatible because my phone has a microphone jack on it or a headphone jack on it. It won't even see the darn thing connected. So sorry about that. I'm gonna have to yell at you again until I get a uh, a better clip-on mic. It's coming. So uh, anyway, uh, well, first of all, first order of business is uh, I actually have a. Uh, an understudy, a uh, stunt double, a uh, helper, whatever you'd like to call him. Uh, he's, uh, gonna, he's a contractor. He's going to be working with me for a few months, I guess. His name is Satish, and he does watch the channel. So welcome aboard, Satish. And uh, how you doing? So the other thing I thought I would do today, uh, so I want to welcome him to, to our network team here. Uh, the other thing I thought I'd do is just kind of walk you around and, and show you what our, our different equipment looks like. Our, our, I mean, I've done it before, but uh, not really just switch specific. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about the types of switches that we use here. Um, so where's the first one? Let me, let me find one I can actually get to. Here we go, over here. Sorry for all the dizziness. So I'll start with our, our legacy switches. So these here, eh, hard to see. Let's get a little closer. So those are um, in, originally they're from a company called Interesis. Interesis was later bought by Extreme. So they are Extreme C5 switches. Um, they're pretty good. That's what most of my career has been working on these. Um, so that's the first type of switch we have here. Those are what I call our legacy switches. These, this is the project. I'm removing these to replace with our newer switches. Our newer switches, let's see if I can find one. There I am. See if I can find one you can actually see. I'm gonna go over here because there's two new types of these, these switches that we're adding in. Oh boy, and I hope you can see him. Yeah, you'll be able to see it. All right, let's get down here, way down here. It's a, it's a top of rack switch at the bottom of the rack. So we have here this switch here is uh, X460 G2. This is what the bulk of our switches are out there in the uh, closets. The, um, the newer switches we've been buying is this one up here, which may look identical, actually operates identically, but this is their 5250 universal switch. It's universal because it can either run XOS, which is the operating system these run, or it can run the VOS operating system, which would make it, you know, run fabric native. Those are Palo Alto firewalls that we don't use anymore. They're just sitting there. So, the, um, and that's that's a good edge switch. It can also be a good top of rack switch um, because you could have it participate in fabric and not just be fabric attached. It could be native native fabric. Um, the other type of switch we have here is what we use as our core switches. And I'm trying to find the model number on this. There we go. That's what I thought. So it's a VSP 8404, 8404, and that's these guys here. All SFP connections. This is basically one of our four core switches. We have uh, another one right here. So we, have, like I said, we've got a, a mate in the basement for that one, a mate in the basement for this one, and we attach. Those edge switches down there will attach 
one to this one right here, and one one leg of the fiber will go to this guy, one leg of the fiber will go to the one in the basement. And uh, basically sets up a multi-link trunk to those two switches. So VSP8404 is the switch we use here. Um, the other type of, fa and VSP is gonna be like a fabric, native fabric switch. The other type of switch we use is um, 7400s, 7400, also a VSP, VSP 7400, I believe it's a 7404, actually. but same same type of deal, uh, just single chassis though, I mean, it's not modular, these it's hard to tell, but it's modular, you got one, two, three, four modules that plug into this, so it's kind of a chassis based switch, these just one single chassis, 48 ports, that's pretty much it. Well, 48 ports and then some some of the some other ports over here for stacking and for 40 gig modules and mostly use it for stacking. So, so that's the other type of switch that we use natively on our network. Um, these are all vendor owned, so I'm not gonna go into those. They're not mine, I don't manage them. I'm just gonna go over the switches that I actually manage. So, and uh, I didn't mention it down there, but those have um, 48 copper ports, and then, you know what you call the, uh, the 40 gig ports. So it will have the newer switches. Here, let me get back down there, so I can show you. So the newer switches, sorry this is so disjointed, but that's just who I am. The newer switches will have 48 copper ports, two of the 40 gig ports, and then four 10 gig ports. So there you go. Uh, it's the same on our, our older switches too, but basically the new purple boxes have that. So there you go. Um, and like on the, like, like the old the older legacy switches, it's basically 48 copper ports, one sorry two one gig SFP ports, and two 10 gig SFP ports. Super easy switches to manage. Yeah, nice. um, the other type of switch you'll find around here, I'm going to show you this one. Uh, even though I don't manage it because I just kind of find it funny is uh, Where is it? You'll see a Cisco switch right there See a couple copper ports and then a couple fiber ports That's actually managed by the county the whole purpose of that switch is basically as a media converter <laughs> We got the county comes in over copper hits this switch and then it goes into the fiber down to the juvenile hall. That's how they get to juvenile hall is through us. We're the, we're the closest handoff. So that's all that switch does is convert the copper connection to a, to a fiber connection. So there you go. Big, big expensive media changer. Uh, let's see. The only other type of switch I manage currently, it's actually almost the same as the X460 I showed in here, showed you in there, is X440 switch. This is an X440 G2. This, I have them in 12 and 48 port models. And this is a, a 12 port model, as you can see. Um, we use these in just little small work group situations where there's just not enough room to oh, get the, you know, get more cables in, you know. We have a lot of older buildings and older wiring, and we just can't keep adding wire, you know, more and more wire jacks in the walls. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot to this one. Basically, there's a uh, redundant power option you can add to it if you want. We have not elected to do that on these particular switches. You got um, 12 uplink ports, or tw I'm sorry, 12 edge ports, four uplink ports, um, and those are all. Uh, uh, 
10 gig SFPs and uh, then of course over here you've got a console port and a management port on each side uh, these also have a USB port uh, right there under my thumb that um, you can do you can save configs or you can update firmware or whatever you just plug a USB thumb drive in there um, they're stackable so you can you can stack them in with the, the 48 port models you know they'll stack with with anything else Oh, what else do these little guys do? Yeah, that's about it. You can do layer two switching. You can do layer three routing with them. Um, they're uh, they're nice little boxes. Uh, the one little gotcha with these though is you'll see the four SFP ports there. They're only licensed for for two. You have to buy a license to get the other four. So anyway, that's um. I think that's about all I got for this week. Other than, uh, yeah. Other than, yeah. You like my airplane picture? I like that. I built that, by the way. Um, okay, well, yeah, that's all I got this week. So, as always, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button. Uh, click the notification bell if you want to know when these come out. And we'll see you all next week. God bless.